What's going on everyone? Today I have a long one, a lot of yapping, a lot of talking, no gameplay, pure knowledge, okay? Three of the most meta builds along with one bonus, more fun build all in this video today. I'm gonna try and do this in one take. So be prepared, make sure you get out a notebook and be ready to write some stuff down. But first, seamless transition. Only 12% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you enjoy the video, please subscribe. We are just getting started on this channel. I would love to have you around here. Straight back into the first build. You know, it's meta. I had to go with Truculence for the first build. An Enforcer at 6'2", 200 pounds, gold Truculence. You'll notice a theme, all right? My, In my opinion, I'll give you a little nugget of information here. The best abilities in the game are Truculence, Elite Edges, Shutdown, and Unstoppable Force. If you want a meta build, one of those should be gold. The others, you know, you should have at least one of those other ones at gray. That being said, I know I've been hyping up this meta stuff for the entire intro of this video, but I'm not going pure meta, okay? I still want to have a little bit of fun, so I'm, I'm prioritizing a couple of other things, which I'll get into. But first, let's start this breakdown for the Enforcer. Truculence, Gold, Unstoppable Force, Gray, Elite Edges, Gray. I do not see a need to change any of this. However, if you want to change anything on these builds, please do. I'm just making archetypes. If you want to change something, change something. It's up to you. These are not Holy Scripture, all right? Feel free to change anything you want. But this is probably the most meta build I'm going to give you guys today, especially if you play threes. I'm going power skating for that little boost in speed. 91 speed on gold truculence with unstoppable force. And elite edges is so gross. And core balance is just to get unstoppable force. I'm not going to break down every single attribute on every single build. But I'm going to say a key few things that apply to each build and apply to making builds overall when we go through each build. Okay, I hope that made sense. First... I love speed. Everybody loves speed. If you don't have at least 90 speed, you might want to throw it away. Especially if you're trying to be meta meta and you don't have 90 speed, it's just not going to work. Even if you have 89, okay? There are no exceptions. If you have 89 speed, no. It is not meta. It's not going to work unless unless it's a defenseman and maybe if you're running if you're running sixes, you can have lower speed. If threes there's so much more ice you need to be so much faster you're just going to get skated around unless you're a defenseman that's a different case but especially for forwards and especially for enforcers because you need to get so close as i said i'm not going to break all this stuff down on to build number two there was a cut there we're not doing one take i had to catch my breath power forward unstoppable force elite edges puck on a string this is a pure goat offensive build the last build had great defense with truculence and Elite Edges was, and Elite Edges and Subtle Force were the offensive, you know, mind of the build. And Trucking List was the defensive mind of the build. Now we're going almost a pure offensive build. You could still hit people at 6'2", 195, and you do have 81 body checking. You can hit people. You can definitely injure some smaller players. But this is a pure offensive guru okay unstoppable force and elite edges as a combo make it nearly impossible for someone to take the puck away and nearly impossible for you to be guarded by one person alone unless they're like six foot six and can just blast your ass puck on a string really brings the goal scoring aspect of this build to a whole nother level at 78 deking you can get pretty unlucky with the forehand backhand forehand it's pretty slow puck on a string makes that so much faster and you'll be able to get in close and bully the, the other team so easily with this build that you need it all right you're going to score your goals up close with this build and you're going to go forehand backhand forehand backhand forehand backhand and maybe a couple of passes back door who knows with this build i'm running of course i already talked about the speed aspect of builds now i'm going to talk about positional iq and i'm going to rant a little bit here if you don't know in this play style category defensive awareness is okay let me just reset this i'm resetting play style attribute with just positional iq body checking's down because i took down the height and weight but with just positional iq it brings up my defensive awareness plus four all the boosts in this category either go plus four for any of them. So if I give 
you know, a stick checking boost, I get plus four stick checking, or and that goes for all of these. So if I, I want offensive awareness to be plus four, so you think, hey, put on an offensive awareness boost, but no, you put on a defensive awareness boost and then bring it down the four points that you just got from that, and then you can bring offensive awareness up five, and you still have 20 points left over to put into passing, which is so stupid, EA. You're such a, you're such a garbage company. <sighs> That's my rant. That's what I'm talking about for attributes. If you want anything in playstyle, this has been the way to do it for the past few years. I haven't used it because it's so dumb and I hate the idea of it. But for these meta builds, for you guys, I'll put that out there. If you want any attributes, any boosts for playstyle abilities, just put on positional IQ that ups your defensive awareness four and then bring it down four and then put those somewhere else. Unless you want to just make you if you the only <laughs> I'm done <laughs> next build we're going to the next build the two-way defenseman and this might be the least meta build that I'm showing you but I'm going 6 to 180 and the only reason this is a two-way defenseman is because you get gold shutdown second gold shutdown which is in my opinion the best most well-rounded defensive ability in the game <laughs> My bad. With gold shutdown, you get a little bit of the trickle down of what stick em up used to be last year and a little bit of what truculence is this year. It's, there's kind of watered down, but together it gives you such a dynamic defensive presence that you can't get with any other one ability. And to have it at gold is nasty. All right. I already said Elite Edges is crazy and funny enough, my defensive build, at the beginning of this video I told you defensemen don't need to have that much speed, my defensive build is the fastest because I don't care. <sighs> I'm gonna cool down for a second. Let me cool down, okay. I'm using Send It. This is why I call this the least meta build out of the three because Send It is horrible. It is not a part of the meta. I just love making stretch passes. If you're playing sixes, never use Send It. And in fact, a lot of the passing abilities are kind of hogwash. They're hooky wookie. Don't use them. If, what would you use if you take Send It off? If you have people screening in front, you can adjust your abilities and get Seeing Eye. If you want maybe to hit even more, you can adjust your attributes. Get Truculence if you're afraid that shutdown's not going to activate, but it probably will activate. And again, positional IQ. This time I'm actually using it for defensive awareness and not the other stats, but I'm not going to get into that again. The last thing I will say on this build, if you want, or on any build in general, as long as you have an ability elite edges, you don't need agility to be that high. So you can bring agility down and bring balance up a little bit if you want, or you can bring agility down and bring one of your shots up. That's, you know, if you're going for like Seeing Eye or Heat Seeker, which they buffed a little bit ago, you could bring agility down to an 82, you know. <clears throat> All right. A lot of yapping about a lot of meta builds. I don't, I don't know if you could tell, but I don't love the meta of any EA game. It just, it, as soon as you get down into the nitty gritty of the meta, the more you get into that, the less it feels like hockey. And I love hockey. I don't love playing some video game that's a poor imitation of hockey. I love hockey. I love playing hockey. I just want it to be like actual hockey and like the actual NHL, but it's not, which is okay. It can still be fun in its own right, but it's not what I'm here. It's not what I'm playing the game for. Oh, there's, that's the second rant of the day. Let's just get into the, my favorite part, the meta build, the bonus meta build that's actually a little bit fun. I'm going with the dangler. I told you my favorite four abilities that if you want a meta build, you should be running at gold are elite edges, truculence, unstoppable force, and shutdown. And I have four builds and they're all gold in that. And this is my fun one. Elite edges is a very fun ability. Close quarters is a very fun ability. And shutdown is, in my opinion, the best ability in the game and it even works if you have 75 overall body check and watch this play i'll play it right now bang hit that guy defensive possession pick up the puck and he's still getting up that's how valuable this is on a 6 1 160 dangler you can still make a defensive play like that with shutdown like <clears throat> all right it's that it's that it's just that good all right 94 speed 94 excel this build is nang this is not the most meta of meta builds, but if you're running it in threes, it is at almost 
as good as it's going to get because you have that speed to take advantage of space. It's not... It's better in threes than it is in sixes, is what I'm trying to say. I'm ma I'm mainly a threes guy, okay? I don't have a giant group that I play NHL with. We have at most four people, which is perfect for threes. So all these are kind of catered a little bit more towards threes. I don't know if I told you guys, but on the Truculence build, that's better at threes too, because you can get charging penalties and elbowing penalties and sixes, which is a whole nother can of potatoes. <sighs> I don't even know what a can of potatoes is. All right. That's the breakdown, okay? I'm not going through these stats. There is no more... <coughs> there is no more... Attribute reminder. I guess I could just say for any of these builds that I have the face-offs up. You can bring face-offs down and deking up. Don't worry too much about discipline. If you're getting discipline penalties, 99% of the time it's your fault. Um, sorry if that's a little bit harsh, but... The meta does not put me in a good mood. Oh, we've been yap. I don't know how long I've been yapping. I don't know how long this video is. Um, we just hit a thousand subscribers. I'm working on the 1,000 sub special. If you're new around here and you watch this whole video and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I would love to have you in the community. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. This is not easy for me either. But one more thing. One more thing before you yeah, go. Skip. Okay. One more thing. All I ask is when you lay your head on that pill at night, you know I gave you everything I had. You did. I gave you everything I had.